Hello y'all, this is East Coast Rebirth, a sub-mod for the mod Old World Blues, which itself is a mod for Hearts Mind 4 that is set in the Fallout universe. East Coast Rebirth does what it says in the name and adds in part of the eastern United States and a portion of Canada as a new playing area. We're going to play as the Enclave, a continuity of government for the pre-war federal government of the US and at this point in time they are led by President Eden. Eden is the leader of the Enclave faction that appears in Fallout 3. Typically in their appearances, the Enclave plays the part of the antagonist, which they did just that in the aforementioned game. This time, maybe they won't be stopped by someone looking for their dad. We start with the National Spirit Bunker Blues, and it is extremely good. Looking at our starting army, it is a lot of infantry in the form of five recon battalions. Browsing through the commanders, we have a lot of lieutenants acting as unit leaders, and we do have Colonel Augustus Autumn as a commanding officer, the equivalent of a marshal in this mod. Our country leads the United States of America faction, which includes us and another Enclave group in Canada known as the Enclave Ontario Territory. To the north, I found some interesting countries like the Amish Mutant Tribe and in Canada, New London. We start with a production policy called Poseidon Energy, letting us build power stations faster and research electronics technology quicker. Looking around what used to be the District of Columbia, there is us, the Eastern Brotherhood of Steel, and the Brotherhood Outcast, who are relatively small when compared to the other two. Starting the focus tree, we have four important focuses named Our Founding Fathers, Our Return, In God We Trust, and Manifest Destiny. Once all of these are complete, we can get to the other branches of the tree, which will include war goals and a lot of other stuff. The army is going to be expanded in size, not with recon battalions, but with infantry battalions, which have a larger amount of manpower and combat within them. Our return is finished, so we get laser weaponry, but more importantly, we also got five new divisions of power armor wearing veteran Enclave remnants. The Enclave Ontario Territory is making moves fast by justifying a war on their neighbor Ronto. Not Toronto, just Ronto. Manifest Destiny is completed and we will start justifying on the Eastern Brotherhood of Steel because the political power is there. Any the focus tree, let's go with superior armor, then power armor doctrine. Once those two are out of the way, we're going to take back America. Up north, the Ontario Enclave started their war with Ronto and they're winning, just barely. Let's begin the focus Operation Broken Steel. We'll get a war goal on the Eastern Brotherhood and it might be done maybe before the manual justified war goal is, but either way, we're going to have have our invasion regardless. Broken steel time, let's just see how well this lion will fight back against the Enclave. We're not going to war right away because I want to explain the war plan. In the west is some units on defense, other than that is some fallback lines made to lure Brotherhood units in so they won't have entrenchment bonuses or could possibly be cut off. As for our easternmost territory, let's just accept we will lose that initially. North Washington DC was lost, but that's part of the strategy and if we rush in around it quick enough, the units there could get encircled. We isolated a few divisions of the Brotherhood. They won't be a threat anymore, so we can just push forward into the Citadel, the capital of our enemy. Our foe is nowhere close to capitulation, while on our side we are doing worse than they are because our DC territory was gambled in order to win this conflict. After taking their capital, our opponent is on the back foot. As long as we keep a momentum and continue driving forward, we should be able to win soon. Once we're done with the pseudo knightly Brotherhood, we'll continue expanding with Operation Country Roads and Operation Pitbull. The lion is dead. We secured our dominance over the capital wasteland and Washington DC. The only thing opposing us in the area now is the Brotherhood Outcast. We're invading West Virginia and we have no real fancy plan here, just charge into Vault 76 with a ton of power armor divisions. Looking to expand into the New York State a little bit, let's justify on Elmira. We're going to help out the Enclave Ontario Territory with Ronto, but first we gotta defeat the pit to get there. The war with the pit has begun and we're going all in. Most of their troops seem to be near a place called the Tip, leaving their capital pretty vulnerable to our advance. Some soldiers were sent to be a distraction at the Ronto Enclave border while everyone else prepares for the attack on Elmira. With our aid, the Enclave Ontario Territory was able to beat Ronto and Ronto got annexed. Another military oriented focus, Operation Reject, is completed so we're going to assault the Brotherhood Outcast who have been just existing even as we took over everyone nearby them. Fort Independence is falling and once it is ours, all of the capital wasteland will belong to the Enclave. We're justifying a war goal on what I think is the Fallout version of Philadelphia, then after them we fight the intriguing Amish super mutants. The long term plan is to slowly push toward Boston and the New England Commonwealth. 
The national focus enclave department of the army is completed, giving us seven divisions of enclave infantry. The division is 16 combat with, and the template includes power armor infantry, a fire team, and some recon support. If we're running low on manpower, that is just fine because we got a series of three focuses that once a certain date is reached, we can start them and get thousands upon thousands of manpower once they're completed. Somewhere on the western coast, a super mutant nation is destroyed, which is pretty coincidental to our own conflict taking place on the east coast. Once we're through, we want to attack some Nuclerks. Upon realizing a body of water separates us from the Nuclerks, to get to them, we got to strike the sappers, then go on a field trip to a theme park filled with raiders. We beat the super mutants. They had some super mutant behemoths and we captured them, but let's try to put them into our own military and see what they can do. Operation Clean Sweep will be a focus we need to do when we are at peace because that will let us do the return of the United States of America which will transform the Enclave into the USA. We're fighting Nuka World right now, we might as well just justify on the Nuka Lurks so we'll be ready when we can attack them. While we're smashing things with power armor in the western United States, the battle for Hoover Dam has begun. We just so happen to have a war goal on the regional power Minutemen who are guaranteeing Diamond City. Let's go ahead and fight the Minutemen and see what those laser muskets can do. The Minutemen with their fancy hats have proven to be our greatest challenge since facing the Eastern Brotherhood of Steel earlier. With enough army experience, we made a Super Mutant Behemoth Division template. Collectively, they are called Horrigans, referring to a famous Enclave soldier in Fallout lore. We actually lost ground to the Minutemen, but to make up for this, we're going to use Vertebirds to land troops behind their lines. Thanks to the power of flight, soldiers of the Enclave have taken Boston. We're getting around to attacking the Nuclerks, and after that we're going to start justifying a war goal on Tom's Rib in what was New Jersey. The Tom's Rib Enclave conflict has begun. While that is going on, we're going to prepare to grab the Republic of Connecticut and New York. Our behemoths were finally deployed, and Connecticut is going to be the first victim. Once New York is out of the way, we're going to start justifying on the Sons of Liberty and the Plague Hounds. Using Vertebirds, we land a lot of units in New York City. They have some resistance there, but it's not too bad because we have power armor and they don't. I sort of forgot about a possible river crossing with Tom's Rib and they took a lot of our conquered territory, but it's all good because we have Vertebirds. The Plague Hounds are on the chopping block. The next move is to go as far north as we can by invading Acadia and securing former Maine. In the west, we're giving the Ontario Enclave a hand by helping them take over as much of Canada as as possible by fighting wars with New London, Bruce Gray, the Simcoe Republic, and Sudbu. Sudbu actually declared war on the Ontario Clay before we could even get to that country, so we gotta join that war in order to keep our ally alive. The Focus Enclave Marine Corps finished, and to my surprise, it gave us four divisions of Enclave Marines. We're fighting two wars in Canada. The first one is Sudbu and the other one is New London. After Acadia is no more, we're going to turn our attention back down to the Commonwealth to take out the Children of Adam. The Simcoe Republic gets their turn in being invaded and Sudbu slash Sudbury is losing. Bruce Gray is the last opposition in Canada standing. The father and his institute is going to be our next target as we seek to consolidate New England. With the constant war having stopped for once, time can finally be found in peace to start the focus, the return of the United States of America. The work in Canada is done even after the apocalypse, it still gets annexed by the USA. Well, part of it does anyway. After 200 years in waiting, the USA Part 2 is here. Diamond City is next on the list to get how to say liberated than the gunners. I can't imagine if someone tried to do this with just an airship. They would have to be crazy. Just a tiny bit of overkill. I'm sure the gunners can handle it. The last enemy is being the Enclave has united the East Coast and became the United States of America. Meanwhile, on the West Coast, it seems about as normal as usual. The video is going to end here. If you enjoyed the mod, make sure to check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Have an awesome day. I'll see you later. Bye.